hello guys you are welcome back again to my channel if this is your first time of watching my video you are kindly welcome and please don't forget to subscribe okay guys today i'm going to be showing you how to make beans cake in our local language in nigeria we call it akala so i'm going to be showing you guys how to make it today and i will be using pepper crayfish seasoning cube salt and onion for this recipe and this is the beans i'll be using and also i will be cutting my onions first before i start washing the beans so now i'm about to break the beans this is the most easiest way to break your beans you don't need to soak it for some hours or for some days before you can make this recipe you can break these beans easily by putting the fresh beans into your blender and adding water make sure the water is above of the beans then you can break it with your blender so now I'm breaking the beans with my blender trying to make sure it will be easy for me to wash and I'm going to be taking now the skin out of the beans so these are what I'm going to be using to wash the skin out of the beans so now I'm about to wash the beans The first and second water I will throw them away because it is too dirty for me to use again and um, if you don't want to waste much of your water what you have to do is when you get the clean water from the beans do not throw it away you have to repeat the same process with the same water so that you will save much water for you know <laughs> water is expensive So as you can see, I'm washing the beans, removing the skin from the beans. It's very easy to watch because I've already break it with the blender. If you notice that there are some black head in the beans, I mean the skin of the beans, and there are some beans that refuse to, to peel off, you can use your hands to, to scrub it, okay, so that it will be easy for you to take them out you can see i'm repeating the same process with the same water that is to save water okay and now the beans is already clean you see how easy it is it is very easy to watch the beans is clean and this is the last step i'm making so now I'm about to blend the beans. I'm putting the beans in the blender. Then I'm going to add the ingredients I just showed you guys to the beans, okay? Why I'm using this um, grounded pepper i call it dry pepper is because i don't have the fresh pepper and you can also use any pepper of your choice okay it's what i have that's why i'm using this today and make sure you blend your beans very very smooth though some people don't like smoked beans when it comes to akara and some people prefer to add these onions or the pepper the fresh pepper after blending the beans because they want to be seeing the ingredients inside the akara but me i don't like it that way i want everything to be very smooth that's why i'm blending everything together So 
so i have a bowl where i will be pouring in the grounded beans okay i'm going to add the salt because i have not added my salt i didn't add my salt when blending so i'll be adding little salt and please don't forget to make sure that it is not too watery make sure it is a little bit thick because if it's too watery when you put them inside your oil it's going to it's going to melt okay so it's not nice when it melts so now i'm putting in my oil in my frying pan and i will make sure the oil is hot before i will put the beans inside so i'm testing it with this stick to sh to make sure that it is hot so i'm i'm frying it now as you can see like i said before if your if your beans cake is too watery it's going to melt inside the oil as you can see it's not melt okay it doesn't melt because why i make mine a little bit thick and this will go, this this will make it also fluffy okay guys And you have to also turn it aside if it's if you see that oh it's a little bit brown at the back you turn it okay you control it so that it won't get burnt So I'm repeating the same process, find it. I'm going to be doing this for so for three times because the 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 bean the bean cake is a little bit much so and my frying pan is not that big okay so that's why I'm repeating the process again and again This recipe, bean cake, we call it akara in Nigerian English, our local language, is very tasty and you can eat it with bread, with uh, pap, what they call custard or akamu. You can eat it with anything, okay guys? It is very, very good and your kids will love it so, so much. So this is the last step, I'm fine. So guys, what I'm going to be eating with this is pap, what they call custard in our language too. We call it pap, okay? So I will be making pap to eat with the beans cake okay this is what i choose to take for breakfast today i don't normally take this all the time i just decide to make the akara today so that i can enjoy it with the pap so i add water to the dried custard and uh, i mix it first then my boil water, I will put it inside the plate. This is the outcome of the akara I make today. So guys, guys let's continue making the pap. As you can see, I'm adding my hot water and I will be turning it. Sometimes I do make mistake 
in making pap because I'm not that perfect. But I must say, I love my pap watery. I don't like it when it's too thick. That's why you notice I keep adding little bit water so that I will get the exact texture I want from it. So here is my condensed milk. I add a little bit of condensed milk because I don't normally use sugar. Condensed milk is better for me. And I will also be adding pig milk. This pig milk is not our Nigerian type. It is from the supermarket. And this also this part this is also powder milk. I will be adding to it. This food will be so yummy. <laughs> Because I had a lot of things. I love it that way. So guys, thank you guys for watching. And please subscribe to my channel. If this is your first time. And my old subscriber, thank you very much. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you. May God bless you. Have a very good day. And see you on my next video. Bye.